Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. We are Saturday the 31st of August 2024. This is my China, welcome back to China, Toy Hall Part 2. Uh, the Joy Toy stuff has come, some other stuff has come. It's a lot of stuff to go through, uh, but this should be cool and interesting, so please do stay tuned. Uh, let's start with the Joy Toy, uh, non Joy Toy, let's start. I think Joy Toys is going to take up the most space. So the biggest thing, yeah. To come from Joy Toy is the Primark uh, Lemon Ross, uh, who is here, all still sealed in his uh, cellophane. I am looking forward to that a lot from their Wham the Horus Heresy line. Okay, then Steel Warhammer the Horus Heresy, still with Space Wolves, Grey Slayer Pack with Slayer with Legion Vexilla. I can go up with this. Uh, then we have. Oh, that's the wrong one. So for the Grace Slayer. Okay. We have the Grace Slayer, the Huskal. Can he fit there without falling over? He can. And then we have the Grace Slayer 2. Let me stick him on top there. So I've got some space still. And then we have the. the, the, the any more Grace Slayers? I'm having a look. Oh, yes. Grey Slayer 1, kind of makes sense, was number 2. And then we have... Ugh, any more Grey Slayers? Yes. We have the Grey Slayer 3. Okay, all in camera still. Good, I've got a space for one. Ugh, not really table space though. One more on the side. Let me just shift these over a little bit here since I've got room. So I can get at least another one on the side, even if it's at an angle. Okay, still with our Warhammer the Horus Heresy. And still with our Space Wolves, I've got the Varagia, not Viagra, the Var, Varagia, Varagre, I've no idea. Wolf, Wolf Guard Squad. Here's one there, so obviously he's in the Terminator armor. Um, I've got the, I guess he's named, I'm not sure. Same name, but a Vegan. I've no idea how to pronounce that, so please forgive me butchering the names. Still on these guys, I've got the Terminator 4. Let's put them in front. I've got the Terminator 1, so should be a 2 and 3 coming for a bit of luck. Uh, oops, hello. Didn't like that. Okay, that'll do. I've got the uh, 3, which I will stick... Up there, and then this should be the... Oh, there's no number one. Now, Warhammer 40k. No, sorry. Stay, stay with the Horus Heresy. Thousand Sons of Azek Araman. Who does look pretty good. Then 40k, I got the Apothecary by Logis. A quick look. Are we all still on camera? Pretty much doing pretty well. Okay, next up. What's next? Uh, 52 Toys. I got their Hammerhead figure I'm really looking forward to. I wonder if it's the same as this loose one I picked up. I think this is not 52 Toys, I think. Is there a name on this? Or uh, I can't see a branding on there. You know what? Let me have a quick open on screen and see if it's the same. It shouldn't be the same because this one I got before this was released, but it looks very similar. Oh, you know, it might be the same. I can't quite make that out, you know. Colouring looks... Maybe it is the same. Maybe I've got two. Colouring looks almost the same. A bit different in places. Either way, I think it's a great-looking fig. So I'm, cl I'm glad to have two. Anyway, I'm now uh, digressing. Let's put that back in there. So 52 Toys Hammerhead. He can go uh, in front of Lehman Ross. Uh, I'm going to start covering up this 40k and... And uh, sorry, Horace Harrison 40k stuff now. Boss Fight Studios, the uh, Soro Sorosic Warriors, the dinosaur ones. I've got the next ones of those. So I've got this guy here, Separazan. I have got uh, Pava Paget Pergia. I can't say that's show you first. I've got uh, Triax Skiver. I really like these toys. They are sort of, these are proper, proper toy shop toys. Toys you see in a toy shop as a kid you think, oh, I want to buy. For adults that are good, I think they've got a lot of collectability and a lot of uh, potential for repaints to fit into various universes. They fit in my universe, so I'm, you know, I'm okay with that. 
Uh, the last one is the heaviest one. Stays Akidem. Okay, the last thing, which will take up more space. You know what? Let me see if I can make a bit more space for this this camera. Let's pull this back. Ooh, pull this back. Let's drop this down here. Tilt up there. Okay. Last thing, I've got a Bandai Namco kit. Sandland project. I'm guessing that's a uh, anime by the box. This is a 135 scale sa uh, Sandland tank. Looks really good. I'm really like the look of this. I wish it was a 118 scale, but 135 scale will work some of the things I've got. And it looks quite bulky in the space inside, so it might actually work. Some of my uh, very smaller figures, maybe my B25 stuff might fit in this, or my. Um, What's the thing? The B25, the 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 the, the little Fortnite legendary micro series, whatever stuff we will see, and maybe the Star Wars um, mission fleet stuff, which got stopped. So that is my uh, next part of my tool haul. I have got more stuff. Oh, ignore this. this I haven't been done reviewing that yet. I've got more stuff coming, but uh, coming, but I want the separate haul for that. It's only a little few bits here and there, but. I've got lots of videos to be making. Okay, please consider joining the Patreon to see all the videos before they're published on YouTube. Exclusive content from time to time. Prize draws from time to time too, including one happening next month, September. Uh, for the uh, Patreon subscribers, it is worth checking that out. I'll uh, see you next video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.